Let's see how pay to win destroys you in Diablo Immortal. One its racks. The talk of the town lately is how pay to win in Diablo Immortal. And I want to demonstrate to you Extremely the phenomenon so. that's happening that is creating these whales that are, that are just going to destroy you in PvP. Bro, he's playing Will Smith. Look at that. And crush you on the PvE leaderboards. So what we are going to do is we're going to run 100 Legendary Crests on my brother's account. He's playing his monk. His monk is very powerful. We're going to do the Elder Rifts and plug them and see what we get. And let me explain to you exactly how this game works and why they are becoming so much stronger than you by spending money. By the way, this costs about 250 bucks to do this experiment. So, first well, of all, let's talk about Legendary Gem. Hopefully you get it back. <laughs> the way you get a Legendary Gem is by running a Crested Elder Rift. You can nice. either plug Rare Crests or Legendary Crests. Legendary Crests for a free-to-play player are pretty much impossible to find, yeah. but whales can buy them infinitely on the shop, as, yeah. we, as we just demonstrated. We just, we just bought 100 of them. Um, rare crests are a little bit more accessible, but there are three kinds of legendary gems in the game. One star, two star, and five star. One and two star are the crappy ones that all the free-to-play players will have, and the five star ones are the godly ones. The problem is, is when you plug rare crests in an Elder Rift, you cannot get a five star legendary gem. It is not possible for it to drop. And it's a very low chance to drop on Legendary Crests. So, as a free-to-play player, you will get very few Legendary Crests. And therefore, you won't even have very many opportunities to even get these 5-star gems to drop. The further layer of RNG is when the 5-star Legendary Gem drops, it can drop with either 2, 3, 4, or 5 of the stars actually filled in. So what you're really looking for is a 5-star, five 5-star five Legendary Gem. And the odds of that happening when you plug a Legendary Crest are like 1 in 2,000. So that's why when you inspect a whale and you see that they have a bunch of five, 4 or 5 stars. Was it 1 in 1,000? It was 0 0.05%. Isn't it 1 in 20,000 then? Yeah, it's 1 in 20,000. Five star legendary gems, you know that they're either Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates. <laughs> so now that we understand that, let's just go through and see ten. Why are there not Elon Musk here on the bosses? I'm gonna spend money. On? What we can get to drop. And by the way, disclaimer: I am not suggesting that anyone spend money in this game or that you whale. This is completely just for science to show you the phenomenon of what people are doing. And this is why I didn't do it on my account. We do it on my brother's account because I'm trying to keep my account pretty clean. I spent 40 bucks on the game in the first day. And then I said, you want to know what? I'm just done with this. Yep. And then I'm, I'm not going to spend any more going forward. All right. So first boss is dead. What do we get? We're going to get 10 legendary gems because we plugged 10 legendary crests. They're guaranteed to give us gems. But do we get any five-star gems? And if we do, how many of them are filled in? Okay, there is the Chip of the Stone probably. Flesh. That's a five-star legendary gem. Actually, how many are filled in? Four. That's amazing. So we've got a four-star, five-star legendary bad. gem. Two fifty bucks. So as we go through and look at the next nine rounds, let me explain one final thing to you. So, uh, why are the whales with these really powerful five-star legendary gems stronger than you? There's three different reasons. The first reason is the legendary Jeez. gems themselves, when they're five stars, are way better, right? Oh, just some. the powers of those gems are just way better. Some of them just detonate the whole room or shoot out a wolf or explode <laughs> for massive damage. Whereas the one star legendary gems pretty much Damn, punch one, you yeah. in the face and, you know, do nothing. So that's the first reason. The powers okay. themselves. Five star to the socks. second reason is the five star legendary gems give you more combat rating. Combat rating is the number that is that everything is measured by in the game. The higher your combat rating, the higher difficulty that you can do, and the easier time you have in the game, the easier the challenge rifts are, the more damage you deal in PvP. 
because they give you more combat rating, it is, it is making them way stronger. Wow, we got a Howler's Call, we got a Steeping Vial, we got a Blessing of the Worthy, we got, and this is actually, we're actually getting a lot here. It's making my brother way stronger. <laughs> and the third and final Brother reason would be why very happy resonance. with all the money you just spent. Five star legend. I can't, I cannot do this. Imagine like I spend money just to prove a point, then like uh, whoever I spend money on is like not my character, and it's like he gets like super massive strong, and then like, but your character is like shit. These give you way more resonance. Resonance magnifies your attributes, which are life and damage. So because they have way more resonance on them, their life and damage are magnified. So when you go against yeah. this whale in PvP, they're going to destroy you. One of my friends who is whaling, one of his five star legendary gems has more resonance on it than my entire demon hunter. <laughs> and my demon hunter, as a pseudo free to play player, is essentially as powerful as you can possibly be. So, in summary, they have way better legendary powers, they have way higher combat rating, and they have way higher resonance, which oh, magnifies their damage. Two big ones. We got two five star legendary gems on this one Echoing Shade and Z Zwenson's Haunting. What were these? A four star Zwenson's Haunting. Damn. So, uh. Brother's we gonna got be some happy. Pretty, we got some pretty good things here. We got like five <laughs> or six five stars, and uh, we got a couple four stars in there. This is what it's like, guys, for the whale and why they're way stronger than you. Thank you. Oh my god, busted game, to say the least. It's so bad. It's, uh... What are the odds of you getting a legendary... Sh what is it called? Legendary crest or a... Legendary crest. Okay, what are the odds? How are the odds getting legendary crest? Odds of legendary gem drop now. How rare is it to get a five star now? Uh, Rifts and legendary crest explain. Okay. I don't wanna cancel. Other rifts and crests explain. The campaign will put you through a tutorialized blah blah blah. Where to get more rare and legendary crests? You can buy both rare and legendary crests from the Hilts Trader in Westmarch using Hilts. The currency you can earn from Codex Challenges, achievements in both free and paid tiers of the Battle Pass. You can buy up to two rare crests per day for 300 hilts a pop. Legendary crests, however, are limited to one per month and cost 1600 hilts. So once a month you can get a legendary crest, but you can just buy them in tens and hundreds a day. There's no other way to get legendary crest for free. If you want more, you will have to buy them with real money from the in-game games. <laughs> oh my god, once a month? Oh, at least make it once a week. How fucking dog shit are you? Once a month. Jesus Christ, man. That is so bad. Oh man, once a month. Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't. It's so bad. So bad.